Hi guys, so um, today I'm going to be making some alterations to the cap on this um, straight press 23 inches wig by Belle Tress. I'm going to um, be removing some of the wefts at the back so the cap can fit me slightly better. At the moment, as, it, as the cap lays, it is very low on, on the back of my, knee, my ears. You can see here, the front of the tab it's not so bad but it's the back here that i'm having issues with so hopefully by removing some of the wefts i'll be able to make the cap slightly more snug at the back so keep watching if you want to see my method Alright guys, so let's check the tools we will need for this project. We need a pair of scissors, needle and a thread of a similar color to the wig um, cap inside, wig grip and wig blockhead. So the first step is to try to de decipher how many wefts we, we might have to take off, take out of the cap. So while you are wearing your wig, um, with your wig grip se secured on your hand, pinch the wefts at the back of the cap where they feel loose and hold it down while you are taking the wig off. With fingers of your opposite hand, um, place them at the clasp just to figure it out how many wefts uh, you've got there. I've got, I've counted eight. This is obviously not how many I'm going to take off. This is just an idea. So now we are going to place the wig on our wig block. Okay, so now you can see this is the inside of the cap and the cap construction. Um, wefted caps um, are made by sewing individual wefts to the vertical stretchy rubber bands. I'm now trying to um, figure out where to remove the wefts to keep the structure of the cap intact. So I'm just test testing um, various places. I'm most likely going to pick the middle of the back of the cap because that's where those V sections, where the vertical lines are connected, are less likely to be interrupted. So I'm just trying to um, pick my location here. So I'm taking my time. I don't want to be too rushed. And also make sure your straps at the nape are released so you've got a um, loose section you don't want to stretch this area too much okay i'm going to take my first cut now in the middle and um, i'm going to work my way down from the main cut the next cut i'm going to make will be in the next row under the weft I've taken in the first place. So it's like working in a triangular section. While I'm making the cut, I'm being double careful. I'm not going through the hair. So make sure that your scissors are clear of any hair behind. I will always be working on one weft at the time that I want to remove. Once it's all trimmed away, I will pull it out.
was clearly a wrong move. I should have known better not to remove it from the top. So obviously, yeah, next time I will make sure I will remove them from underneath so that bunching up won't happen. Okay, here goes the second weft I'm cutting away now. This one, on initially I have decided to cut just before the end, as opposed to the first one, which was cut away right at the um, edge of the cup. I'm keeping one tiny little length. The idea is to work in this triangle sections. Now I'm, I'm move, removing an, another weft and cut it again one section shorter from the edge on both sides. And removing that weft completely from by pushing it down this time instead of pulling it from the top and now I've removed both wefts I can see what would work better so I've decided to cut the f first weft completely so this is a second one I've completely pulled away and I'm going to shorten the third one and trim it back so that just one distance from the side to the first stretchy band is left. As you can see here. And now I've made the main cuts. I'm now going to be ready to start sewing those wefts together, sewing the rubber bands together, starting from the edges first and then working my way towards the middle. That will allow me to um, remove any other wefts from, from the middle sections if required. are connected at two of the stretchy sections. I can remove more wefts from the middle and the reason I like to sew the first two sections together first is so I don't cut away too much of the weft and make a mistake. can finish sewing the rest of the sections together. Okay, so all the wefts are now joined. It's all um, done. I'm going to take the wig off and brush it with John Renault white tooth comb to release any hair that are still trapped after the wefts have been removed. I hope it was useful um, and gave you some ideas. Um, if you don't feel comfortable make ch making changes to the cup, please leave it to a professional. But thanks for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day. Bye.